So on the bottom of the screen, there's a takeoff button. I'm going to tap it. Oh, let me, hold on, let me double check my settings. We take off. Dealing with the light amount of wind. And if you ever get in a spot where you're not sure what to do, let go. And it'll theoretically hover itself. Now, I am not touching the controls at all. You can see here, I'm not touching anything. It's just hovering on its own. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, I was just saying we get a little bit of glare. <laughs> it's just hovering. Cameraman, would you please kindly walk in front of the camera? You get the video? Let's see if I can get a shot of me in the shot. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold still. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go, man. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move it. Can you stand back over here? All right, so it's flying itself. It's leaning into the wind slightly. And uh, hopefully my shadow moving doesn't make it do weird things. Nope, doesn't look like it. Ooh, can you see the shadow of it there in the, in the video if you zoom out a little? Oh yeah, That's over there. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna fly it around a little more. Hmm, battery's already at 66%. That's a little worrisome. All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and raise it up. You can see it raises just fine. This is altitude limited. Lord. Now it's a little higher, so there's a little more wind up there, so we'll bring it back down, slowly, and it's constantly adjusting itself for the windy conditions. And it actually does seem to fly a lot better outdoors with the outdoor hull connected. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, I can pirouette, slowly, or I can pirouette fast. It's not quite as good at keeping itself in one place while you're pirouetting, though. All right, and then we'll bring it back up. You get in, you can see it leaning into the wind ever so slightly. All right, and we can turn it a little, and you can combine movements. Use the accelerometer to go forward. And turn while tilting the accelerometer. Going a little fast, but that's good. You just let go of it, and it balances itself out. So we'll bring it a little closer. This does take some practice. Again, we can rotate the other way. And that's the wind carrying it away, which is kind of a bummer. But this thing is $300, uh, which for what you get, that's actually fairly cheap. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I try and keep my videos all ages, but sometimes I have to curse. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, people. A little bit of a fly by <laughs> All right, so as you can see, yeah, there is a little bit of wind. You can see it leaning into the wind. It's all right. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move it away from us slightly. Now, again, I have this in left-handed mode. Um, I am right-handed, but I have this in left-handed mode because it close, it more closely emulates um, uh, flying a model helicopter. See, there we go. You might be able to see us, kind of. Is there glare, or can you see that? Uh, just barely. Okay. There, is that better or worse? Oh, uh, better. Okay. So there we are. Yeah, you were Hi. Getting, you were getting a lot of the sun <laughs> back there. Yeah, unfortunately, the sun's right behind us. So again, we can rotate this back around. There is quite the breeze right now, actually, and it's doing fairly well. Um, this is probably the stiffest breeze I've ever flown it in. I like to try and keep it a little above eye level because it does want to drop a little bit. It's almost, a, in, a, in a wind, it's actually a little easier to, tr to fly where you want to go, then turn, then go forward some more. Whoa. <laughs> probably saw that in the video. All right, so we'll bring it back up a little. All right, we'll turn it towards us. And we'll bring it towards us. 
Easy, man. Easy. It's very gentle. <clears throat> Battery is at 42%. Um, I've generally been experiencing flight times of around 10 minutes. <laughs> I think the uh, box says that you get like 15 minutes. I don't recall ever getting that much flight time. Uh, the more wind there is, the more you move it around, the more you go up and down, uh, the more battery you're going to use. But as you can see, it flies around just fine, even in this bit of wind. Just take some practice. I haven't played the now this thing is called the AR drone. The reason why they call it AR drone is for augmented reality. And that's because of course of the video game basically that you can buy. In fact, they label this the flying video game. And, uh, and so what they do is they use the iPhone or the iPod Touch or the iPad and you see virtual bullets and you can shoot at another AR drone with virtual bullets and they connect to each other via Wi-Fi and it's all really cool nerdy stuff. I don't know how well you can see that. The sun's right behind us, unfortunately. Yeah, getting, I'm trying to get a spot that's not glary. There you go. Now go ahead and point the camera back at it. As you can see, I'm not doing any inputs. It's just trying to keep itself in one spot without any, any input from, from me. And we have some people watching. <laughs> My battery's getting a little low. We got a few more minutes. Bring it up a little more. Easy. There we go. A little closer. See the way it twitches a little bit like that? It makes me nervous. That was me, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> you added that on there. I wish the uh, software would beep really loudly when the battery gets to like 25%. Uh, Parrot, if you guys ever see this video, you probably won't, but if you do, please add an audible alarm that you can set at whatever percentage you want. Because once this thing hits like 25%, uh, it pretty much dies really super fast. Mm. You can see it actually moves pretty quick too. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to film this thing crashing. All right, and then, so we're going to go ahead and land it. We still got a little power left, but we're going to go ahead and land this thing again. You can see it just sitting against the wind there, just leaning gently. And to land, you just tap the land button. Hmm. Like this. <laughs> and cut the grass. <laughs> so there it is, the AR drone. Uh, after you land it, it's still on. You can take off again if you want to. As you can see, it's still looking. Mystery camera guy, can't see his face. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. So, the AR drone and iPod Touch fourth generation.